Okay, let's jump right into setting up uh, Every Dream 2 to run on Vast. I uh, will assume that everybody's got a account already, and all you need to do to get started is to configure a an image. And the best way to do that is just jump right into Edit, edit Image in Config. And I've already got one set up here, but uh, for the first time you'll want to use Template Slot and select that and I'm just actually going to go up to the one that I've already got but for the first time you'll just need to hit template slot and select um, but once you have that up you'll just need to paste a couple things into the startup commands here uh, there is an address to the docker container and then some startup commands uh, the startup command includes the ports for both tensorboard and uh, Jupyter notebook itself and also is going to set a password and you can go ahead and change this password. I will leave uh, both of these strings for you to paste into these first two uh, boxes in the notes on uh, in the description on the video. So go ahead and just copy and paste those in and paste in those into these two fields. Uh, then you're going to want to select uh, run in interactive shell and you can check the SSH box. Actually not going to matter. We're not actually going to use SSH, but we do need to select that. So we can also then here uh, put in the start.sh in the startup script. Make sure you got a forward slash start.sh and that's pretty much it. Uh, once you've got this uh, configured, um, when you go to rent an instance, you'll just want to make sure that you've got your instance configuration selected up here and you're not using like the default uh, torch or NVIDIA CUDA uh, image. Uh, from there, you're pretty much uh, ready to go to select your image. Uh, for me, I'm going to select North America, single GPU. Um, I usually prefer to use a 3090 because they're usually a good price for what you get and the performance. Um, you can actually also use a 4090. You could even use a 3080 Ti or 3060. Uh, you will need at least 12 gigabytes is the bare minimum, um, but the default settings are going to be more suited to a 24 gigabyte card like a 3090, 4090, 8, 5000. Uh, or something similar, but you are free to try something else if you want. Uh, do keep in mind the VRAM will uh, indicate will will control how much uh, your your how high your resolution and and your batch size can be. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select. Um, I'm actually going to say that I want maybe about 100 gig just to be sure. The size is pretty cheap on the disk space, so I don't think you should try to save pennies on that. Um, and we've got 3090 North America 1X, and we can just go through here and find one that uh, we like. You can also read the documentation on VAST. You can do bidding and do other things if you want uh, to get instances. And I've actually went ahead and, and pretty much from here, let's just say that I want this one. I'll click the rent button, and then I'll go into my instances. And I've actually already got one started, uh, so I'm going to trash the one I just uh, started. And this one's already ready to go. Once you have your instance since it started, and it should say status success, uh, just wait until this guy is done, and you'll see this open button uh, shows up. And to actually open up the instance, you can click open, but it's going to open up TensorBoard, and you actually want Jupyter. Uh, the way to find out what your Jupyter uh, port number is, is open up uh, the IP address and port range. You just click on this once, you get the little pop-up, and then you can click. A single click will actually select, and then you can just copy and paste. So you want to copy and paste both of these addresses, the 6006 and 8888 uh, lines, and open up new tabs for those. So you just click on it, Control C, open up a tab, and you will get the TensorBoard and Jupyter instances going. And you can see here's my Jupyter notebook. It happened to be on this port. And then here's my Jupyter notebook. And since I left the default Every Dream password on here, I'm going to type in Every Dream, capital E, capital D, uh, which you can change in your um, in your instance configuration. You can set whatever password you want, but I'm just going to copy the password that I've set there, paste that in here, and log in. And then we are pretty much ready to go. So take a second to load. There we go. And similar to the run pod, I'll go ahead and go through this, although it was also uh, pretty much from here on out, it's the same as any other instance on run pod or um, if you're renting somewhere else. Um, we're going to open up the Jupyter Train Jupyter Lab notebook here, and this is where we're going to run training. 
and then the other thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and go into the input folder and then I'm going to click the little upload button and off screen here it's going to it's when you click that it's going to open up a window on your computer and then you can go find your training data and I am currently browsing for my training data I'm going to just select a whole bunch of images and click open and here in a moment you should see up oh, there they are they're uploading right now watch the bottom here the bottom status bar is going to say uploading dot 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 we'll give that a minute probably won't really take that long and looks like it's just about finished up there we go and complete now I've got something like 180 or 190 images ready to go and I'm gonna go also back up to the root folder um, so again, uh, similar to the RunPod video, I'm not going to kind of go over all the specifics of setting up um, your training settings. You can go in and edit the train.json with right-click open editor, tweak settings in here. We'll do more videos of that in the future. Uh, there is another video um, on how to edit this and get, get into the basics, but all these options are documented in the repository. And... Uh, really briefly though, I will go over that we're using train.json as the basis for defaults and then we override those defaults with a couple other options. Uh, for instance here we're using um, this address for resume checkpoint. This is a diffusers uh, checkpoint uh, on, it's hosted on a hugging face and since this uses hugging face you just need to put in the username slash model name. Uh, anything on Hugging Face that's a diffusers model will work. You could put Stability AI, st you know, Stable Diffusion 1.5, or uh, rather uh, Stable Diffusion 2.1, or Runway slash uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5. Uh, this one here, the default is the Stable Diffusion 1.5 that has the improved VAE that Runway made. Uh, I've got a default project name. You can change that. Data root is just going to point to the input folder over here, and that's where I put my images. Uh, max epics and how often we want samples, uh, how often we want to save, how many uh, we want to save our checkpoints is in here, learning rate, uh, default scheduler, and save full precision are just set up in there. And pretty much that's all you really got to do. You upload your images, probably want to tweak at least your max epics and maybe your save every n epics uh, setting depending on how much data you have and then you just click the go button on that cell. And here in a moment, we will see that we are training. Uh, we'll probably get, uh, so first thing it's going to do is actually download the model. That's downloading the model here from this address off a of hugging face. And that will take a moment because it's got to download the four gigabyte or so checkpoint. I did get a pretty fast instance here, so it is going pretty quickly. I'm getting 80, 80 megabytes a second. That's pretty good. All right, this is finished downloading. And we're going to see some warnings. Do not worry about these. These are just warnings. They're not fatal. Unless it says error and it stops, you're fine. It has gone through the preloading process where it's read all the images in my input folder. You can see here I have 191 images. And that's pretty much it. And here at any moment we're going to start seeing our uh, steps, our steps bar here will start to progress. And I got one more warning. Again, this is just a warning. Don't worry about it. There we go. And it is training. So we've got five, six, seven uh, steps. And that is going to be, oh, when it gets to 23, that'll be one epic through the 191 images. Uh, that's pretty much it. When After this is done training, you will, or during training, uh, depending on when, if you have epics, uh, checkpoints being saved along the way, you'll see your checkpoints just appear here on the left and you can just right click and download them. Um, or if you would prefer to upload those to Hugging Face, if you wait until training is completed, um, you have to wait until this cell is, is completely done doing its thing. You can actually go all the way down here if you scroll down to the Hugging Face upload and you put in your username here. And if you have a model already created, you can put your model name in here. So for instance, if I wanna put this back up on my account, put in Penapster, and let's say that I already have a re, uh, model created, which you'll have to create ahead of time. You can just create an empty model on the Hugging Face website, and we'll say this is my uh, cloud underscore strife model. And you run this cell, and what it'll actually do is it'll find all the dot star dot checkpoint files 
in this folder and it will upload them to Hugging Face and then you can deal with them later. You can download them to your computer or whatever you'd like. Uh, that's pretty much it for getting running on VAST. If you uh, watch watch out for some other videos, look at the, uh, there's another video um, that will be out for uh, tweaking your train.json and there's also a whole bunch of documentation on the repo on how to tweak your settings. Uh, I also highly recommend if you need help with anything uh, that you join the Discord. That is where kind of the hub of activity is for every Dream 2. Uh, people can help you out there. Um, and also if you ever need to, um, if uh, you do need help, what I do recommend though is you go into your logs folder here and you grab these two files. You're going to see one that says underscore config.json and another one that says uh, dot .log. Um, what you can do is um, uh, download this file, download these two files, and then just drag and drop these into the help channel on Discord if you have anything that's blowing up or it's not working. Uh, and also if you get any error messages in here, if you can, copy as much as, of the console output here as you can and also paste that into the help channel in Discord and that will be the best way that you can get help. Uh, that's it for now. Um, again, watch for some other videos that will kind of get into a little bit more detail on, on how to tweak tweak your hyperparameters and tweak your training. Um, but thanks for joining us.